New tonight, the owners of a troubled boarding school, they have been transferred to Nye County and they are due in court tomorrow. This as Northwest Academy is now scheduled to close soon. 13 Action News is digging deeper into the oversight of facilities like Northwest after the owners were hit with 43 counts of child endangerment. And as anchor Masa Saidi now explains, multiple state agencies say that they are working to try and keep all students safe. Todd, Trisha, there's one thing that made this facility different than other similar facilities. The other facilities are run by the county, but Northwest is run by a private operator. You can see that the building has pretty much cleared out tonight. This as regulators consider making some changes. Not the Valentine's Day Northwest Academy owners Marcel and Patricia Chapuy are accustomed to. This morning, the couple went before a judge for the first time. Prosecutors allege at-risk teenagers at the couple's boarding school often had no safe drinking water. Patricia tried to cover her face as her defense attorney claimed this case stems from a disgruntled fired employee with friends in high places like the Nye County Sheriff's Office. They are here in front of you. Tonight, with only a handful of students left at the facility, Action News is asking how the teenagers were allegedly left without safe drinking water. February of 2018, the state found the water was contaminated with arsenic. Inspectors were on site April 10th and September 7th, but it's alleged the couple tried to cover up issues like the lack of bottled water and alleged physical abuse on site. The Department of Health and Human Services says it wasn't until a teacher was arrested in January that they heard about the violent confrontations. Tonight, looking ahead, Action News called multiple state agencies and divisions to ask about potential changes. The Department of Health and Human Services tells us they're looking at what can be done to keep students safe at child care facilities in the future. One idea being considered, a ban on allowing private operators in an effort to increase oversight and transparency. Masa Saidi, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas.